Hey guys, X here, and if you're like me, you're very, very disappointed with the Persona 5 Strikers port that just came to Steam today. Today is February 23rd, 2021. Persona 5 Strikers just got released on Steam today, and the port is kind of garbage. It's very lazy, very half-assed, and I'm questioning whether or not I should have bought this on my PC in the first place, rather than, say, going out and buying a copy for my, uh, for my uh, PS4. Okay, before I actually get anything, I should probably show you what the port looks like for someone who owns a 29 by 9 monitor. Those of you familiar with the word pillar boxing would probably know what already is going on here. And what's even worse is that the game launches in windowed mode, which is not a great start. And no matter what you do, you cannot get rid of this extra uh, screen space on the side here. So even if we go into the config menu here on the uh, main menu, we can force it to full screen. And we still have uh, pillar boxing here on the side. Okay, to fix Persona 5 Strikers on PC, to have it sort of pseudo have 21 by 9 support, you're going to need a few different things. First of all, you're going to need uh, to download Reshade. Uh, if you don't know what Reshade is, it's a post-processing injector uh, that allows uh, some post-processing effects to take place in the, uh, in the game. I might show that off once we get in if you don't know what Reshade is, but chances are if you're watching this video, you already know what it is. Um, but... Okay, yeah, you're going to need a copy of this, and then you're also going to need a copy of this particular sort of reshade preset by this guy's name, which I will never be able to pronounce, or not going to. Okay, so now that we have reshade downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to find the reshade, or the Persona 5 EXE. Now, uh, some of you might have the bonus content. Do not select this one. You want to go ahead and click the Persona 5 game.exe file. And hit uh, use select the application. And of course, if Reshade can't find it for whatever reason, browse it. Go to your Steam apps common folder, wherever that might well, that might be stored. Wherever you install the game and go ahead and find it that way. Pick DirectX 10, 11, or 12. Uh, don't use anything later. I would imagine that won't really work as well. Um, but yeah, if, if you want... Uh, Persona 5 is a very stylized game. So if you want any of these uh, other presets, uh, go ahead and maybe check them out. I don't know. You can go ahead and mess around with this stuff, but that's not for the purpose of this video. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and uncheck SweetFX. And just go with the standard default. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and edit our reshade settings. And what we're going to do now is... What you're going to do now is go ahead and download the, uh, this Fubox, uh, shaders .zip file. You're going to go ahead and download this code. Download the zip file from GitHub. Uh, these contain the textures and the shaders for the, uh, 21 by 9 SudoFix. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up this zip file and then extract this folder somewhere safe uh, where it's, you're not going to delete it off your computer accidentally. Uh, I just, for the purpose of this video, went ahead and extracted it to my desktop and I called it uh, P5Strikers Reshade Config. So what you want to do now is go ahead and uh, find the effects path right here. And this is linked to the default uh, shaders preset that came with Reshade or whatever I just downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and find this file. And uh, for the effects path, you're going to want uh, the shaders folder. So what you're going to do is just copy this, put that here, and select that folder. And it should look something like that. And for the texture paths, you're going to go to the same folder, uh, the same folder where uh, the textures file exists. And you're going to click textures. This is, of course, uh, the... Uh, Reshade preset that we just downloaded. The file path should look like Persona 5 Reshade Config or whatever you call the file where you keep all the uh, the Reshade presets where you just downloaded, and it should match these. Click all these options if you want. We're not going to. As of right now, we're through one part of the, the, the process. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually launch Persona 5 Strikers, and we're just going to capture it in desktop mode so we can actually see what's going on here. And I can actually put this to the right side of my screen because this port sucks, and every single time I launch it, it goes into windowed mode. Yay! Okay, so now we're at the main menu for Persona 5 Strikers. Just launch the game. Uh, if this is your first time using Reshade, uh, if you press Home, it'll take you through a tutorial on actually how to actually use the, the program. Okay, so now we're on the Persona 5 Strikers start menu, I guess. So, just to make sure, we are in full screen at 1920x1080. Can't go higher. You can only go lower. Uh, and you can't change the FPS to anything above 60. It's only 30 or 60 FPS locked between those. And turn VSync on and off. Um, but that is about it. So, uh, if you installed Reshade for the first time, you should see a message 
uh, right about up here saying press home to start a tutorial. Uh, for the sake of this video, just skip right through that. You don't need it for the purposes of this video. And uh, all your presets should look like this and should have the same sort of uh, .fx files. Now, if the .fx files are missing from this list, what you actually need to do is go ahead and go to the uh, FX search paths right here in the settings menu. Open this. What you want to do now is find the same file path where you saved the reshade presets that we just extracted from that one GitHub page, which should still be saved as my clipboard. Yeah, there we go. And for the effect search paths, you want to go ahead and click shaders and then hit select. And then that will be the path for all of our shaders and the uh, 21 by 9 fix that we're going to implement in just a second. And the texture search paths, I'm going to go ahead and obviously click textures. And then you're going to go back home and then you're going to hit reload. And then if all these file paths didn't, uh, if all these files didn't appear here, all these different uh, reshape presets didn't appear before, they should be appearing right now. And ignore all these. The aspect ratio .fx file is the one that we fit, that we need right now. So what we're going to actually have to do here, this isn't a perfect fix, but for right now for launch day, it is kind of acceptable. This isn't a perfect fix, by the way. This isn't getting the game to run at a 21 resolution. Instead, what this fix does is that it stretches the image to um, 21 by 9 ish by uh, shifting the aspect ratio to 1.33. So this is really the best fix that we can possibly implement right now uh, for Persona 5. And uh, some of the text, unfortunately, if we go on the menu here because of how stylized the game is, uh, some of the text isn't going to appear very uh, defined. It's going to be very blurry because uh, this is effectively just uh, 1080p stretched. But yeah, this is the best solution that we can possibly come up with, guys. And, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that Atlas kind of half-assed this port. But uh, it kind of makes me wonder about the future for, say, Persona 5 Royal or uh, any other versions that come to Steam. Uh, might as well just play it on an emulator or maybe just go ahead. If you own a PS4, go ahead and buy this shit on console. It's not really worth it, in my opinion, to buy this on Steam. But if you're really hankering to play this game on PC at a pseudo-native resolution of 1080p stretch for your 29 by 9 monitor, go ahead and buy Persona 5 Strikers on Steam. Uh, if not, buy it on console. It's not worth it uh, until someone else comes up with a more sophisticated solution. I'm sure someone will come up with like a, a hex editor configuration or whatever that'll fix uh, all the HUD aspects and maybe get the game to actually run at a native resolution and maybe unlock the, uh, the frame rate above 60 without any engine issues. But... This is the best solution that you can have right now. If you really want to play this game on Steam and on your PC, and if you have an ultra-wide monitor, this is the best solution that is currently available. You know, with how bad this PC port is, I really think I am going to do a first impressions review of Persona 5 in a sort of PC context. So if you guys are interested in a video like that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will put that up very shortly after I give this game a, a fair shake, I suppose. But anyway, guys, this has been Exposure Next, and of course, please do share this video with everyone else who is having issues with running this game at ultra wide. I really think they would appreciate it. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm out of here, and goodbye for now.